I think the biggest biggest mistake being made now is that people don't react fast enough to the, the changes in media. Um, people aren't following the eyeballs fast enough. There's so much change that's happened in the past five years, let alone the past 20 years. Too many layers, too many, um, I, I think, um, directions they want to take a message for or, or two. It's maybe not staying on message or on point. Not understanding the target market or um, presuming that they know more about the target market and they don't have to do the research in order to understand them. And the eyeballs are moving. A lot of clients hire ad agencies because of their name, because of their, um, uh, you know, oh, they've been the longest and around in the business, but they don't realize that an ad agency is typically four people that work on your account. You know, you got a great account exec, an art director, a writer, maybe a creative person that oversees the whole thing. And even though that agency may have 100 people, those are the only four that are going to be doing your account. The internal fight often seems to be within the legal department and the marketing department and the advertising department. And trying to square that away so that you can be forthright is important. I mean, personally, I think it's best to always say something rather than say nothing. You know, say something rather than do a no comment. And always be truthful. I mean, at the end of the day, just as a reporter, uh, if I felt that the company had always been truthful with me about how its product performs, about how the business does business, I would then give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, I have a 13-year-old son, and it's like, you can't get anything past them. I mean, it's like they see right through it. They know when something's hokey. They know when something's, like, not authentic, when it's not, like, really cool, or if it's just pretending to be cool. So it's like, I think it's really knowing the market and knowing what's really out there and just really paying attention. Number one, they're, they're a little heavy-handed in the sales process. You know, they want the sales, sales message to come across a little too heavy, and in today's world, you can't do that. It has to be a more authentic process. And secondly, uh, perhaps uh, I've seen businesses not give the customer enough credit for having an intuitive process of their own to figure things out. I think the biggest problem business makes and they have to deal with on a constant basis is that they, is it more important for, uh, to, to address their audience or five or six people down the hall. And, and that's just, the, that's been since the beginning of time. I mean, everyone has a job, everyone likes to keep their job. Everyone has bosses, and so, you know, often it's created with that influence a little too strong. On occasion, you see clients not do well or even fail. And sometimes it's because they forget who they're working for. Uh, sometimes, uh, you work for a client who their attention is more for who's down the hall uh, or for a, uh, uh, an impoverished reason. I think the biggest mistake they make is they go by what they like um, or their wife likes or, and I really hope a lot of clients don't see this, but it's the truth. Um, it's my son or what my daughter likes. or They react and they don't think about the target audience. They think they know um, based on their own reaction, and they really have to let the professionals do the job and, you know, present to them. And we call on an awful lot of the big pharmaceutical companies. They're just a, a little afraid to experiment with some of the new channels. I think the clients themselves sometimes aren't willing to take the chance. Although I will say this, there are some clients as well that are the crazy ones and you have to bring them back down to earth, right? So. In either case, I think the biggest mistake they make is not listening to the people that they hire who are the experts. Um, now, they're paying the bills at the end of the day, and that's going, to, that's going to win out. But if you really want to do something great, you should be willing to listen. I think a lot of people just, you know, we just sort of like, you know, people are afraid to have, to have the balls to actually go out there and do something that is honest because they're afraid that, you know, people aren't going to get it or that they're not up to speed, but like, you know, everybody is really up to speed and you can pretty much, the most successful stuff is the stuff that like does push it, I think. The biggest mistake I see business make um, on a recurring basis is to think that there's a magic bullet. You know, whether it's somebody who's decided they're gonna invest in print and will run one ad and see how it goes, uh, or somebody who thinks, that, or, or, or a business that thinks that they can continue to have a leading presence and communicate uh, in some sort of, of quality um, with, uh, with half in the budget or doing part of it in house or just getting by or we'll only do this, but, but still having those uh, very large expectations of, of those of us involved with it. 
cutting their marketing and advertising budget um, and really not being open to trying any of these new options that are out there. That's, I mean, it in a nutshell. Well, they don't have any respect. A lot of them don't have any respect for the creative process. They just think you hire somebody to do a camera and, oh, you mean you need to light it? What do you mean you need to light it? You need to light it? It's going to take how long? Oh man, I didn't know that. They have no, they have no understanding. They think point and shoot, and we'll get it done in no time. Is this really going to take that long? Why do we need makeup? We don't need makeup. I think that the uh, the biggest mistake I've seen uh, with the wide variety of clients that we've worked with is that you have you have really good clients that utilize you as a partner. They give you a seat at the table. They're uh, engaging you in the overall strategic vision of what it is they want to accomplish and. The ones that, that utilize you as a vendor, that they're just ticking off a box. They don't know this, but they're very challenged to understand who they are and more importantly, who they need to be to those target audiences. Because um, there's inbred bias, daily opinion polls at the water cooler. They just have too much head trash about who they are, what they do, how they go about their business, those kinds of things. So they really can benefit significantly from dialogue with an outside party who's at a 70,000 foot level breathing clear air with a clean vision of who they need to be and how they need what they need to do to get there. We make a mistake by not sharing that information with them, by not preparing them, by not saying we did it this way because your target audience reacts to blue or your target audience reacts well to these key phrases. Um, but we have to kind of keep it back to that audience and I think a lot of times they forget about that. So I think that people believe that they've got more answers than they do. And what I see is people not, uh, people hiring people to do jobs and not letting them do them. And I, and I don't see people standing up for that. Uh, standing up to saying, look, I know this is right. I believe in this. And, and uh, you know, uh, there you have it. Sure, that they know how to do PR. It's simple. And they know how to do creative. They get it. Because they have a cousin that used to do it. <laughs> you know, right? 